I thought I was going crazy yesterday when I heard this news. And everyone that knows me knows I can be a little out there a lot of the time. But this news is pretty crazy. And I think it's atrocious timing by the USAP. What did they do? They banned carbon paddles, C-R-B-N, in the middle of the US Open. Who does this hurt? This hurts amateurs because they travel from around the country, wait all year, practice all year to play in the biggest pickleball tournament on earth the u.s open in naples this takes media attention away from you who just won gold medal or did really good at the u.s open and it makes some big corporate bigwig at the usap look powerful what does this really do? It takes away from the US Open. And I have some inside information. What I think happened, in my mind, what actually happened was J.W. Johnson beat some really big name in singles a couple weeks back. And this influential player may have said that J.W. was playing with a cheater's paddle. This would have given the USAP incentive to test two random carbon paddles. Not 10 or 20, which would actually be a good scientific study, but two, that's it, two. That's a horrible base if you do an experiment, right? One more thing, the PPA really doesn't have to go along with the USAP, right? Because they haven't done it in the past. Like the SpinServe, when they banned it, they didn't go along with the USAP. But when they issued this statement, they go along with them. So it's kind of weird in my opinion, IMO. If you're texting pickleball lovers, what do you think? Do you agree with me or do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> Please leave me comments. Please subscribe. And remember, here are the Pickleball Pirates. We may love pickleball just as much as you do. I know it's tough to believe, but it's true.